in this channel we destroyed a lot of things you see in this playlist the list goes on and on but we never talk about shockwave when i say shockwave i don't mean this note i mean this stuff wow you see we are gonna talk about this in this video Hi everyone, this is Dyson. Welcome to my channel. Okay, without further ado, let's begin. <clears throat> Hi everyone, this is Dyson. Welcome to my channel. Okay, without further ado, let's begin. You see, we did this amazing shockwave effect in Houdini using Bully Solver and Karma for Render. And we're gonna do that in three parts. The first part is Bullet RBD Solver. And the second part, it's post-effect shockwave, you can say, the dust and debris. And the third part is rendering in karma. And if you are that guy, you want to know the overall operation, overall uh, technique, this video is for you. But if you want more detail about this video, you can see the full video on my Patreon. Okay, let's begin. This is our reference video, you see? Wow, that's amazing and mesmerizing when I saw that. You see? I love it. So, we're gonna do this using this car asset. This is simple uh, subnet network. You see, we have uh, the glass RBD bullet solver. Sorry, RBD material solver. And this constraint, and if you want this car, you can see this video from this car crash and we're gonna use that and let's go creating this sphere this source of explosion with rbd bullet solver and you see we have this decent uh, scene and we're gonna add a uh, some custom velocity this is typical stuff guys you see i'm doing the directional velocity and the rbd bullet solver will take the first initial velocity pay attention for that so i increase the constraint strength and you see we have this easy right let's carry on you see i here merging these two assets together again the full detail on my patreon and i i don't want any constraint any proxy from the sphere and you see it's interacting with each other that's amazing so with that i want to add custom velocity to the car simulating shockwave you see in this uh, streamline i will use a point velocity you see i'm doing the glass point velocity so this is the trick pay attention guys i want to add this velocity at frame six not at frame one you see i am keyframing this velocity so let's see if bullet solver will read that from frame number six for example so i add this keyframe and let's play and see the result you see this is the result and i don't have any velocity because we need to override the velocity in this properties uh, window and what? voila you see our glasses are flying now it's reading our velocity so this is amazing but this is a problem you see we are manipulating the velocity we need to do uh, we need to let rbd bullet solver do, to manipulate this velocity you see we are uh, intercepting this operation and we have this artifact so overriding the velocity in my opinion it's not good option so do you have any idea any suggestion guys leave me in the comment section i even use sub solver inside rbd solver to copy the velocity but i end up having the same issue so what we're gonna do believe it or not i end up doing that in silly way let me show you first i want to uh, remove the velocity from this i don't want to override any velocity okay and in here i want to rasterize the velocity attribute volume rasterize you see 
volume rasterize attribute so i rasterize this velocity this is simple and typical stuff and i will create null for that and i will go in rbd solver now it's easy guess what we're gonna use advact volume pop advact volume and we're gonna use our velocity and let's see if that work or not and boom you see that's amazing trick and yeah it's saving the day <laughs> nice so instead of the glass i uh, create a velocity for whole the car body you see now we have this giant velocity field and we're gonna we're gonna apply it to the car this is a shock wave force simulation you see we simulating shockwave force and this is amazing trick so if you like this kind of video please hit the like button and subscribe for more content i will be so grateful guys and this is our rbd bullet solver simulation result and the full detail on my patreon if you're interested and in the next tutorial we will add post effect like dust and debris and after that we're gonna render that and big shout out for these amazing people on my patreon thank you guys and have fun with our content see you in the next one see ya